Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what I found at the Goodwill yesterday. I um, said in my previous video, which was my first video, this is my second video. So welcome to Amateurville. <laughs> to source right now because I have a lot of death pile and um, my son ended up out of school a little bit yesterday and I was mentioning that I took him to a McDonald's play place that he really likes and it's a, about a 20 minute drive for me and there's a really nice Goodwill across the street that I just like to check out when I'm there so I broke my rule just to go in there I did good though I made myself really just get the good stuff and I'm going to show you what the good stuff is but um, first I wanted to show you I have two orders going out this morning. It is a Friday and I've not had a lot of activity the last two days. Um, remember that I'm new. I'm really just only about 500 sales in. Um, but I had to show you some. I really want this channel to be like really real. Like not foofy just like this. Is what it really is like to do all this. So I had to show you this um, before I clean it up workstation. I had this little spot that becomes my little thrift store sticker thing. What I do is usually like say the stickers on the bottom of the shoe. I'll take a picture of that so I remember what I paid for it and then I immediately <laughs> stick it here. And so this gets really gnarly. Here's some old batteries that were pulled out of something where they weren't working and all my little rags for cleaning and getting fuzz off. And um, I got these with some free stuff from a yard sale and I think they're for like sewing or crafts but they are the best for like trimming fringes or getting dirty stuff off. <laughs> Got my little um, Phillips for getting the batteries out, been buffing some shoes. I mean, this is like just so reality. Um, and I'm going to clean all this up for you guys so you don't have to see reality all the time. But anyway, um, this is what's going out today. These were actually given to me by my mother-in-law. Um, she sent me some shoes after we moved here that I could sell. And I, I learned a lot from this because I didn't know about this brand, Corky's. Um, I looked it up and I think they're sold at Nordstrom, um, but I'm not positive. But I was amazed by this because there were a couple that had sold kind of low on auction, but I put them a little high. I put them at $29. I listed them yesterday afternoon and last night they sold like super fast and um, it was $29 plus shipping which I'm going to do a padded um, flat rate mailer for these. But anyway, oh I wasn't going to weigh those, I was going to weigh these. And this is my other sale which <laughs> this one has like a really annoying story and I need to see how much they weigh really quick and I'll tell you why. Okay, about 14 ounces. So I had this listing, um, these Skechers listed for, <clears throat> I believe it was $14.99 plus shipping because I realized they weren't really moving and I did a double check and I was like, I just want them to move. And this lady, she offered me $10 and I composed myself. So anyway, um, I sent her a nice message and I said, you know, by the time I ship these and pay my 12% fees, it's not doable for me. I really need to try to get uh, the best price that I can on these. So she's like, okay, well, just saying, you know, you said that you, you know, make an offer, best offers. And I said, yes, absolutely. Everything in my store, it says um, reasonable offers are considered. So <laughs> I was trying to be really nice. And I got an offer back from her for, I think it was 13 $13. $12. I'll have to check. And I was like, you know what? I just needed to move. Okay. I took it because I probably won't get these again. I mean, they're in really great condition and everything. They really are, but they're not like a big item. So, okay, I'm getting my money back probably. And that's about it, but we're done. She's happy. Hopefully. Right. So anyway, I'm going to show you now what I found yesterday. Here's the fun part. 
I have cleaned up the area and laid out the items here so I can show you. I'm going to try to go fast today because I've got a lot to do. But so in this haul, these are the things I picked up. I picked up a LG remote. I checked it before a purchase. Paid $2. It goes for about $11. That's just an easy thing to ship. And this little box, I wasn't sure, but it is a Robert M. Weiss made in Peru. Um, I guess it's called Reverse Paint. It's a little trinket box. It goes for about $12. I'll put the comp up on the screen here now. And I figured if I didn't sell that, it would be usable as a gift, or I know a lot of people who like that style. I picked up a vintage uh, Sanyo Stereo VH, or sorry, not VHS, a cassette player with a radio, $4. It is missing the battery, but I'm going to put up the comp now so you can see what this really can go for, though. Um, I do need to test it. I will get back to you on that. We also got a little for real squirrel. I, last week I sold a for real um, monkey. Those are a lot larger. He went for a good chunk. Um, I think he was only $2. Yes, so he should go for around 10 to 15 um, he does seem to work, but he's a little lazy, like he needs new batteries, and we'll see what we need to do. And um, I picked up a Wii Dance Dance Revolution Dance Mat for $4.99. This is not really the best clip. It's going to go for $20 to $24. Again, I'll put up the comp, um, but it does seem to be something that would sell fast. <clears throat> so shout out to the um, Below Buddies channel here. She always says to pick up any lovey that you see. I grabbed this little gal for two dollars and as you can see from the photo I'm going to put up now, they go from anywhere from I think like 18 to 20. She's in pretty good shape. There is a label for the little kiddo's name and just so you know this brand is, what does this say? Lula Miracles, I believe that says. Lula, Lula Miracles, it's kind of written over. But So that was a good pickup. I got the Coles Cares um, Dinosaur. He ends up actually not going for too, too much, but I have a couple other ones and I might be putting together a set and put him up as a lot. This is a vintage um, maple jar. I actually got this for myself because I have a smaller one. I'll put a comp up here for you that um, I am going to sell mine and use this one because it has a larger capacity. And so here we have some rather bent up uh, vintage 1996 sealed Space Jam wrapping paper. So as you can see on the screen, there is one listed for $20 is $20 shipping, not bent up like mine, and mine actually has a few little chunks taken out of it. I paid $0.99 cents, um, according to a sold comp just for the fact that it's vintage and everything. I think I can get at least $15, but we'll see. I'm going to try to smooth it out by putting it on a um, broom pole and kind of rolling it a little bit, but people like to use these for crafts or backgrounds and it's just a fun find. So I also picked up these um, Nike Jordans. Um, they were, I paid up for them $14.99. They're in really good shape though. And the only thing I think I'm going to have to do is just clean the soles. And um, these are kind of all over the place. It looks like some resellers have actually bid on some and got them pretty cheap, but they should go for anywhere from $40 to $60. Um, and I'm going to teach myself how to do the authentication process on eBay with these and um, because it does seem like from what I can tell right now that you get a better price if they are authenticated by eBay. I'm going to skip this for a second and then I picked up a, I cannot remember what she is called, $2.99 is what she cost, Kitty Surprise. Um, I remember seeing these on some reseller YouTube. Um, it turns out that the one I picked up is not vintage, but she still is going to go for $20 to $25. She has her three kitties, which go in her belly. So cute. If my five-year-old son was a girl, I'm sure he would love that. 
I picked these up for my son and I accidentally paid for them with my business account, but I don't stress too much when that happens because I will resell these eventually. Um, when he's done playing with them, it's for he and his buddy to do some walkie talkie. They were $4 and I also accidentally paid for his shoes on that. Um, let's see, I think these were $6.99. These are just in really good condition and they're in the size that he's going into, so we're gonna clean those up for him. I kinda doubt they'll make it to the resale, but I always sell some of his stuff that I've just purchased, so I don't worry too much about that. Feel free to criticize me on the tax end of that if you'd like to. Um, so these, I just pretty much snag anything that is anime when I see it. These were in beautiful, like, new condition, and um, they charged them at the Goodwill 99 cents a piece because, sorry, I'm in the basement and somebody's running water upstairs. <laughs> this is lovely. Um, so brand new, as you can see, they go for about $14 a piece, and people do sell them in lots. I'm debating about doing a lot, though, because as you can see, I have some random numbers here. So I might sell them um, each. I will put up some comps here. And I should get at least $10 a piece and 99 cents into 10 would turn $5 into 50. So that was actually my best find of the day for those books. So that is it. That was the haul and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. If you see anything you like on any of my haul videos, they're all going to be listed in my shop, which I will link below, or you can always message me on Instagram especially and let me know if you're interested in anything. And thank you for being here. We'll see you next time. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for the